Alan O'Dea for breakfast, your hip music station, Star FM. If you've just joined us, we've uh, put a call through to Trentham. We've got Gary the Spud Farmer back online. That's right. We, ju- we heard about his, uh, well, the weekend that's going to be. Look, I've, I've been lucky enough to be invited out there for a few events. Um, very tempting. I'll see if the I can. The singles get a- night sounds like a ball. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Big hit in Zimbabwe. That's, <laughs> that's right. But look, we've got Gary on the phone. Now, he says that he plans Australia Day may, pretty much all year. It's bigger than Christmas, Easter, birthdays, anything. This is his day to shine. So we thought to make sure everyone else has a good Australia Day, let's get some tips off Gaza. What, what makes is, a good Australia what Day? What do you have to have at your party to make sure it's a good thing? Now, let me check something with you there, Gaz. I've got yeah. a keg coming. Is this a good thing? Oh, mate, absolutely. But uh, the problem is that you've already said there you've got a keg there, mate. That's just gonna, not going to be enough. <laughs> you really need to load up, mate. You don't want to get to, uh, you know, 6.30, 7 o'clock and you, like, I know you're probably going that time you're on your way out to Gaz's farm for the perfect match. You probably want to get doled up. So you want to have a few more drinks than that. So you really want to load up, mate. I'd, look, I like to, uh, I always, uh, I've been out milking the cows this morning as well. I, I get a... You know, fill up on their cow juice, you know, they, they like to have a good wee, so I've, I've, I've topped them up, they go down well, mate, so you shot the cow, the, the cow juice down, so you like to have a few shots, a few chases with your, with your keg, mate, so, uh, you know what I mean, I'll, just the A keg, but I'll, I'll look, I'll, I love where you're at, I love where you're at, AB, and I'll, I'll, I'll dig in it, mate, I'm feeling All right, right. tip number two for Australia Day, what is a must-have? Well, oh, you got to have chops, mate, you got to have <laughs> chops. Actually, um, me and the mates, we end up playing two up with the chops. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, the old, the old points is never usually much lying around with bloody Cheryl. She takes them down the, down the pokies, mate, and puts them in there all every night. So, look, we end up just playing the two up with the chops. So, or you got to, you got to have a game of backyard cricket, mate. Oh, quintessential. You got to have a backyard cricket. We don't ball, so we just play them with the spuds, mate. <laughs> um, roll them over the good. I'll tell you what, my mate Bobby, mate, he's a big bouncer, mate. He's bouncing, mate. I've got, got his last year. <laughs> bloody spud right in the eye, mate. So, <laughs> just, uh, you know, a bit of cricket's always bloody good. And then if you've got a bit of a pool around, mate, the old belly whacker competition, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what, mate, I've got a fair belly, mate. I'll tell you what, we're waxing it. Bloody me and the G string with the Australian flag hanging out, mate. Like, that's the side. I know AD would be keen to join in later when he comes down for the perfect match. So mate. tempting. Gaz, uh, what, what about uh, what we should wear? You know, what uh, Australia Day fashion should we be on the lookout for? Yeah, absolutely, mate. You've got to be, you know, you've got to get in the thingy, mate. You know what I mean? I've, I've actually um, had this singlet hanged up all year, you know. I'll just get the missus to actually iron it, get it ironed, the singlet, iron my G string. So then that's all ready for the day. And, you, you know, you just get around and sing it. You can't be wearing anything too flash, you know what I mean? I, I don't want AD just getting too prepared as he comes out. I know he's going to want to look flash and, you know, he's pretty keen on Cheryl Sheila's. I know he's just up and about. But you can get... I, I want AD to relax, mate. I want him to be in a singing while he's having his kegs. He's going to be nervous for the day. Have his kegs. He's going to get out there. He's going to walk in. I'm going to give him a couple of shots of the cow juice. And away he goes, mate. So you you know, you want to just be in a thing. You've got to be relaxed, mate. You've got to just let it all hang out. Oh, that's uh, that's just an unsightly thought. But all right, Gazzy, give us the one big thing, the last tip for Australia Day. What is a must-have for everyone? you got to have music. You've got to have... I, I think Aussie's about music, mate. Me and the, me and the boys out there, we'll be having the... We'll have their bit of pseudo echo going for the day. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Rocking out there. Uh, one of my favourites is old Craig McLaughlin, mate, singing the old... Oh, Mona! Mona. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I sing it to uh, Shezza when we're on the bloody uh, workbench, mate. I go, Shezza! <laughs> Ooh, Shezza! You know? So I think music, mate. You've got to have a bit of the pseudo echo. Jimmy Barnes, he goes all right, man. He's a bit weak, you know. But uh, you know, but it's, you know, he's not as tough as Craig McLaughlin. You know, what I mean, like Craig McLaughlin, he's a, he's a tough cat, that guy. You know, he's got some. He's he's really got. They used to have the, you know, the, the he, he had the party at the back, but he had the party at the front going. I like it, I like it, I like it. Oh, oh Gaz, Gary, look, we could you. not thank you enough for these Australia Day tips. Clearly, yeah. you've got it all sorted out there at Trentham. And, um, Good luck with the spuds and the barbecue. And, of course, AD's, uh, AD yeah. with, with Sheila's, uh, Shaz the Sheila's. Yeah, absolutely, mate. I'll, I'll look forward to seeing you out there. <laughs> that is uh, Gaz, the spud farmer from Trentham's tips on having a rip-roaring oh. Australia Day.